This video will demonstrate a $15 update I use to give Mach 3 full spindle control of a normally manual only spindle while retaining manual control when Mach 3 is idle. I need speeds defined with the G code, not my poor memory. My unit operates famously with this change, however, your experience might vary. And of course, operating near live mains voltage can be dangerous. I assume you're watching this because you have or are interested in purchasing a CNC EST 3040T USB CNC router. I have used mine to mill aluminum, foam board, and wood and need mine to operate at various RPMs versus always full speed. The prerequisites for this change is any USB control board, I presume, with manual control only of spindle speed via this particular USB control board a bit sensor BSMCE04U-PP. The reason why I am making this video is because of the lack of information about these things, particularly the 3040 and these kinds of controls and the randomness uh, of ordering one of these things from eBay. My unit, for example, came only with the control box and the router, no manual, nothing, no paperwork at all other than the label for the address. This video is to be conversational and informal, but hopefully informative and provide quality information and is not meant to be a five-star production. There are no sponsors, no ads, and hopefully no interruptions other than the furnace behind me because it's quite cold outside. The control box has, in this case, has the spindle control handle outside which drives a potentiometer and the three wires from it go to this port on the power unit which has 5 volts ground on the far side and the signal wire in the middle. And so we want to use this port in order to give it the control. Step one is to activate the onboard PMW circuitry on the bit sensor board. Here we're going to add a $2.25 buck converter to the 24 volt which is sent from the power supply over here to this board and then adjust that voltage to approximately 3.3 volts which will be going into the VC pin of this set of inputs which you will see is labeled as 10 volts. But I've tested it successfully from 3 volts to 10 volts. But of course, we only need 5 volts going into the control input of the power supply. At step 2, we add a $3 relay board driven by the same 24 volt input and this board is controlled by output 1 
which goes low when active. So it will be appropriate to adjust this jumper to the appropriate location on your relay board. This will allow spindle control from Mach 3 or manually based on the state. So we're going to connect the signal from the potentiometer as well as the signal from the bit sensor board through the relay and in this case I'm using yellow to define the two signals going into the relay. This must be a powered board, not a relay only, as the circuit can't handle much of a load. So, if we tell Mach 3 to turn the spindle on, we see the relay board responding to Mach 3. Step 3 is the grand finale. At this point we have a PMW signal aka a digital potentiometer signal from the bit sensor board and we need to provide an analog signal to the power control circuit to gain real linear speed control. Otherwise, it's, it's very nonlinear and you can't trust the speed that Mach 3 says it's going to have. And so we do this now by adding a $9 PMW to a VC Plus module or a digital analog converter, I guess you could say, which will yield this full linear control of spindle speed. Now in my case, for the board I selected, and I will link these boards uh, in the description below, this jumper needs to be to the inside set of pins. I found that uh, the voltage is cut in half on the outer set of jumpers, but this board didn't really operate the way the description on Amazon said anyway. Now, proper control requires you to update the Mach 3 configuration, uh, the config, spindle pulley setting with the max RPM of your spindle, 10K in my case. Now this of course also requires the proper config ports and pins setting and I will show mine as the video ends. Now with power on we will adjust the buck converters uh, V out until full speed is reached. So you'll need to determine your full speed beforehand and in my case 48.8 uh, volts is sent to the spindle and so you can either use it by driving the spindle or you can set up uh, a uh, jumpers to the power out and, and monitor the voltage as you make that adjustment with full spindle, full speed being sent by Mach 3. So now if we
turn the spindle on and send an RPM our spindle is now running and so with 48 volts I sent 2500 RPM 12, 12 volts is about the right location for that to happen uh, we can change that to 5000 RPM and full speed I see I need to turn mine down just a little bit you don't want to go over the 48 point eight really because the power supply that comes with this even though this is a 400 watt spindle if you look at the label on the side it actually says that it only provides 336 watts and without the spindle connected, I actually uh, drove this up to a 60 volt output by accident on one occasion as I was uh, messing around and getting things set up. But that's it. I will close the video with screenshots of my key Mach 3 configuration screens and non-affiliate links to the products used, uh, as you see here, will be found in the description. So happy CNC routing. Thanks for watching.